Hey makers this is Truveen and in this episode I am going to talk about how you can add horizontal scroll into vertical gallery in Canva app We all know that Power Apps gallery does not support horizontal and vertical scroll together Sometimes we have a requirement where we have more number of columns and that doesn't fit into the gallery control at that time we need horizontal scroll functionality into our vertical gallery so how can we achieve that let's have a quick look but before that if you haven't followed me on my twitter and instagram so far please do follow me because these are the platform where i'm uploading short content related power platform To get started with the horizontal scroll into vertical gallery basically we need to add some container on the screen for that click on the plus icon over here and click on the layout option and let's first add one horizontal container so here i have added one horizontal container now let's make it size like this after that inside that let's add a normal container so select your horizontal container and add another container inside that so it will look like this so your tree view structure is looking like this on the top you have your horizontal container and inside that you have your regular container now in your regular container add your vertical gallery so i am just adding my vertical gallery inside that now over here basically you need to provide the layout so i am selecting blank layout over here and inside that let's add our control but before that let's provide the data source so here i am providing my work order data source over here now let me just shrink its height a little bit so it will look like this and let me arrange its position as container zero position so now this is how it looks like now let me add some label control inside my gallery control So I'm selecting my gallery and add some label control. So I started adding the control label one. Similar way, just add some more label controls over here. So I added multiple label controls over here. Let me add some more controls over here. But here you can see that I don't have any space. Let me. increase the width of the gallery so i just increased it okay still i don't have any width so let's just do in this way this is my gallery control and let's increase its width over here so let me just add the width as 1500 so you can see that it is going outside of my container that's fine let's arrange the properties okay so i started adding the different stuff over here let me add some more labels over here and let me just arrange it okay so now it is going outside of my screen as well okay that's fine let me just add them perfectly okay now let's do one thing for a better ui select all your labels over here by pressing the shift key and provide the border so you can see that your gallery control how it is properly aligned okay so i just provided border so you will get to know that it's not overlapping with each other all right and now let's provide appropriate property over here so here i just want to add work order number and always follow this technique let's say this is the property you set with work order copy its id and for next position use the same id and set the x property in a dynamic way label1 dot x plus label1 dot width okay so it will pick up exactly after this one use this dynamic positioning concept over here okay now for this one copy its label2 and go to now label3 and provide the x position as previous element dot x plus previous element dot width okay so it will exactly place the element just after that all right specify the similar technique for other as well so over here you can see that it overlapped over here okay but i don't want that so i'm selecting previous id so for label 4 the formula is label 3 dot x plus label 3 dot width similar way do the same thing for all the table 
text control over here okay so it's set up let me just remove this unwanted label that i have here so i just wanted to make my gallery structure a bit smaller so over here label 8 is the last stuff over here for me okay so uh, let's see what would be the width of the gallery so overall right now let me just decrease the size over here as well so it is looking like this perfect okay and now uh, let me just set the containers width as well so container width is equal to galleries width to co copy galleries id which is my gallery one and select my container over here and over here there is a property minimum width so provide here gallery one dot width okay all good perfect okay so now it is showing properly all right now what i need to do here is simply i need to pick up my horizontal container over here and over here there is a property called horizontal overflow turn that on okay so i just make that as scroll perfect and now let's see what we are getting over here after you turn on the scroll of your horizontal container what you need to do is simply pick up the gallery element and set the maximum width that you have now what is the maximum width here is it is summation of all of this label okay so right now i have one two three four five six and seven okay so seven label has a width of 150 so 150 into seven okay that's what i want to set as my maximum width of the gallery so i'm picking up my gallery going to the weight control and let's add 1050 over here okay so i just added the width of the gallery as 1050 1050 okay so i added that so it is showing all the controls and now you can see that this is added scroll over here okay so this is our vertical gallery but it still added the horizontal scroll and you can see that i can read every element over here which is absolutely good right so you can see that now i have scroll inside my gallery control so now even if you wanted to add more and more controls over here you can simply add that only logic here is that you need to pick up your gallery and you need to increase the width accordingly let's say i add 1100 over here so at that time the scroll becomes like this see it shows up to this level now even in future in my gallery let me add one more control here so let me pick this up let me add a label control and it added inside that but now its width now its x is the previous element which is label 8 so i just need to set in this way x position is equal to previous dot x plus previous dot width okay and this is how it looks like it it is reaching up to this point now only point here is you need to simply increase the width of your gallery so instead of 1100 let me just add here 1200 over here okay or maybe 1300 or 1400 over here now let's check plate and over here you can see that i have a scroll and this is the element that we have added over here okay so it is looking like this even if you provide a border you will get a better idea around that okay so you have seen that this is how it looks like all right now you can just reduce a width a little bit so your gallery control looks nicer so this is how you can simply add the scroll inside your vertical gallery now let me just add some headers over here so what i'm simply doing here is simply picking up my container and adding some text control over here so i just added this control over here and let's just provide it appropriate color so i'm just providing some sort of background over here with this kind of green color and let me just provide some text as black let me provide the font weight at bold and let me just provide here as this is my work order number okay so i just added that similar way you can copy and paste the same label control and provide the appropriate titles over here so for this i just need to increase a width little bit control c control v so here as well you can just uh, do the dynamic positioning as well for yourself because let's say if you want to add a label over here so it is your label 16 okay so over here you can just set your x in this way previous dot x 
plus previous dot width okay so just follow this technique and copy the same one for the next one so over here you can see that i just copy this id go here and provide it x as well previous dot x plus previous dot width okay and you can just provide appropriate stuff over here so i'm just copying and paste the same thing again here and here okay just for time saving i'm fast forwarding copying and pasting okay so i'm just done with this now i want to scroll it out i just do this way and then add copy and paste okay right so it added here let's just arrange it okay here as well let's just arrange it and let's see how it looks like so it looks like this perfect right so you just make your dynamic positioning in a way so it looks like properly okay perfect so this is how you can simply add your horizontal scroll inside your vertical gallery in power apps let me just increase the size of the container over here and let me increase the height of the gallery as well so this is how all the controls looks like and you can see that it perfectly scroll to the right and now you can add n number of columns over here so even if you have more than 25 30 column and if you want to fit inside your gallery control this is the technique you can use here so simply the trick is very simple you need to use containers horizontal container regular container provide your regular container is equal to galleries width and provide your horizontal container horizontal overflow as scroll that's it hope this video helps you and values your time if so hit thumbs up and subscribe my channel that motivates me to create this kind of content in future as well with this this is Thruvin signing off see you in the next session with some amazing content Looking for any paid consultation, the website link is available over here. And if you wanted to follow me on my other social media handle like Twitter, Instagram or any other platform, go to the about section of the channel and you will find all the links over here.